This bit bothers me when I um, had to get this off. I couldn't get that last bolt, the nut off, because it was hard up against this wood. So I'm gonna remove this and then I'll put a new one further back. Where all the rotted wood is that I pulled out, I've made, and it all is like a jigsaw puzzle. But um, I couldn't be bothered about pulling out all this other good wood. It's stuck in there really well. Um, so, yeah, now I've got to level the top up and then um, I'll glue this stuff in. I'll take you guys for the ride. Polyester with aerosols. Like tiling. This is my problem. I've only got this much thermalite left. And I want to put thermalite down there and there. So the rod holders have heaps of beef to go on. And then I want to have thermalite that goes around there and around there. Um, so the bollards, if I put some bollards or a bow rail on it, it's got some good meat on it and I can compress it. And then I'm using honeycomb there, honeycomb there, and I want thermalite along the whole front because um, half of that, oh, not half, there's gonna be a divider out of thermalite and it's a subwoofer box on one side. So it needs to be stiff and strong. Might beef it up with some plywood as well in, in the sub box area. I just suited up because I've just finished fixing this and now it's stuffed again. I'm so upset. Has anyone else got these masks? Do they have problems with theirs as well? I had big problems with the batteries, which is why I use a Milwaukee battery. It seems like all the electronics is real touchy. Uh, I, I normally just have to resolder the main connections on the top and that gets it good. 
but um, sometimes I don't even know how I do it. I just waste heaps of time and then it gets happy with the amount of time I've wasted on it and then it starts to work again. But yeah, if anyone else has these problems, let, let me know. So this is what I've been doing. I've been doing this lip here. And um, to get the corners, I just do a lot of relief cuts. And then I'll use epoxy resin to glue that in. And then after it's hardened, I'll sand longboard it so it's flat. And then I'll route that edge and that edge after I've ground this back a lot because um, I need to get glass to wrap over like that. I've got to get this to curve. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to put a million slits underneath this bit so it can bend that way. And uh, I'm not, I'm going to leave this bit filled in, even though I want to have a hatch there. And um, when I, I'll, I'll fill it up with glue under, underneath all the grooves. I'll fill that up with glue, put heaps of glue on the deck. Uh, uh, anyway, you'll see. You'll see how it turns out. Anchor well bulkhead is going to be here. So this is just for de uh, decoration. It's going to make it easier because I'll, I'll bl bl uh, you know, sand everything and blend it all nice um, just to this lip. And then I'll leave all this bare because I need to fiberglass the bulkhead to here. And then now, because that's in the way and there'll be nice lip to hide everything, all the fiberglass and stuff, I'll only have to fare that much and I don't have to worry about blending it into this big flat area. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that bit yet. Well, I'll, I'll make a panel that goes in there. Um, it's just going to be a bit difficult because it's got a curve. But hopefully it'll work itself out after I get all this down. I've got to concentrate on one thing at a time. And I'm only putting the thermalite wherever the bollards are. That's why... I went around here just, you know, in case I put a bowsprit on and it needs to go through here. And um, bowsprit, bollards, 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 whatever. <laughs> There's going to be a big cutout. Yeah, you'll see. Let's ask the mask if we should work today or at the moment. Mm. 
No. Tomorrow.